Ever wondered why obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, and attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, often seem to be drawn to each other like magnets? It's not just your imagination, these disorders do frequently coexist. This isn't a random occurrence, but a well-documented concept called comorbidity. Now you might be wondering why do these two conditions often come hand in hand? What's the link between them? Yes, it's a complex dance between the two, but why does this happen? Let's delve into the science behind it. Imagine your brain as a super busy highway with signals whizzing past at breakneck speed. Now let's consider ADHD. In this scenario, signals related to focus and attention often fail to reach their destination. This can lead to symptoms like impulsivity and inattention, as if some cars on our highway are running out of gas mid-journey. On the other hand, in OCD, signals related to fear and anxiety are like cars with turbocharged engines. They're amplified, causing obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviors. It's as if these cars are not just reaching their destination, but they're doing burnouts in the parking lot when they get there. These contrasting signal disruptions can create an imbalance. It's like our highway has lanes that are either too slow or too fast. This can lead to the two disorders attracting each other as a way to compensate, to try and bring some order to the chaos. So it's like a seesaw with ADHD and OCD trying to balance each other out. But what does this mean for people who have both? Living with both OCD and ADHD can be a balancing act. We've delved into the intriguing comorbidity of these conditions and the scientific reasons behind their attraction. It's a complex dance that significantly affects individuals' lives. Yet, appreciating this connection paves the way for more effective treatment strategies, enhancing life quality. The takeaway? Don't stop seeking knowledge. Remember, understanding is the first step to acceptance and only with acceptance can there be recovery. So keep asking questions and keep learning.